Hello guys, welcome back to Pop Run in Bed. Thank you as always for being here. You guys are the best. You look great tonight. Thank you for watching a movie with me tonight. All right. I'm really excited about tonight's movie. What's new? I'm always excited to do this. If you can tell, I am watching A Time to Kill. This came in third place in our crime slash investigative poll. And usually I only watch the winner and the runner up, but I know some people rallied hard for this one to leap to third in the last minute of the poll. So I decided to watch it. Plus I loved the other two I watched. I think it was A Few Good Men and My Cousin Vinny. And then this one. So both of those loved them, loved them. Like actually a couple of my favorites maybe on the channel. I really like the courtroom stuff and the investigation and whatnot. What I know about this one is that it's by the same author as A Few Good Men. John Grisham, right? The one that every dad likes. And I also know Matthew McConaughey and Sandra Bullock are in it. So I am very excited. I haven't seen Matthew McConaughey in a movie for a long time. I fell in love with him in The Wedding Planner. Loved him in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Both of those are pretty amazing chick flicks. And I hope he's lovable in this. Remember, if you wanna vote on polls like this and help the movies you wanna see, get voted to the winner of polls. Here's my Patreon, here's the like, here's the subscribe, here's the bell, here's me, here's you, here's play, let's go. Okay, sorry, I am annoying. Oh, Samuel L. Kevin Spacey. Interesting. Holy crap. Okay. Oh boy. Ew. On every level. Oh my gosh. Nice mullet and crop top. This makes me ill. All those weekends lost to do-it-yourself house renovations. Tragic, hey. tragic, Jake. Makes Carla happy, my man. He's, I think that's Dr. Charles from uh, Chicago Med. Oh yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe. Matthew McConaughey has just such an iconic voice. Oh, please no. He looks a little young, fair old enough to crawl her in the right position. <laughs> please, please, please leave her alone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please no, please. She's alive. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> She was a little baby. Vile pieces of crap. We don't allow no uh, African Americans in here. You know that little girl you took for a ride? Poor little girl. She didn't die. Why don't you take your cold black ass out of here and grab a branch? Unless you got a nation. You can go to hell. What's up, boy? Didn't you defend Billy Ray Cobb? No, I think some Memphis lawyer handled that. Well, we picked him up for rape, him and Pete Willard. Who'd they rape? You know Carl Lee Haley, his little girl. Little Tanya. But how old is she? She's 10. <gasps> oh, gosh. I can't think about it. I am physically sick. Why would they let him do that? I even have a cigarette. I'm Sheriff Ozzy Wall. I seen you play for the Rams. Way I figure Sheriff's okay, been on TV and all. No offense. How could someone be that ignorant and evil? Golly. I just keep thinking of her saying, Daddy, I'm sorry I dropped the groceries. You remember them four white boys raped that little black girl over in Delta last year? They got off, didn't they? Yeah. I was in a jam. You hit me, I wouldn't. Sure, Conley. You got a daughter, Jay. What would you do? I cannot help but think about it, little Tanya. Don't do that to yourself. How do I know her? Conley came by the office today. It sounded to me like he was thinking about doing something. Or maybe killing those two boys. You should call Sheriff Walls. Yeah. But how would he kill them if they're in jail? I can't prepare.
There's no way. It wouldn't get off. That would be everything wrong with the world. If he kills them, he's gonna be in trouble. Sad job. I mean, I get it. That's the worst thing that could have happened. I was hoping it was gonna be in his head like he was imagining that scenario play out. Carl Lee. Please, no. But now he has to leave his family and his little girl who needs him right now in the hospital. Oh, I feel sick. Didn't think I'd do it, did you? How's Looney? Blew his knee right off his leg. Doctors are still with him. What's gonna happen to me now? All depends on the jury, Carly. Pick the right jury and you walk. DA picks the jury and you get the gas. I figure there's a lot of people out there tired of all the raping and killing. He'd be sympathetic to a man who took the law with his own hands, even if he is black. You said you'd help me out if I was in a jam. Well, I'm in one now. Are you Carly Haley's attorney? Yes, I am. Jake Brigance, with one G. He took his case. Gosh, this got messy. And today ain't even my birthday. Brigance couldn't tie his own tie without that old drunk Will Banks. Judge Omar News presiding. It is my birthday. I knew he was going to be a villain. Blacks are more sympathetic to the blacks. If the trial stays here, it's an all-white jury for sure. Without blacks on the jury, Haley hadn't got a chance in hell. This is the one we've been waiting for. My only chance is to find a shrink who'll testify Carly was insane at the time of the murders. I'm not no man. This is the guy who you got the practice from? You can injustice will prevail. But lose, injustice will also prevail. Now that's a strange case. I could use your help. I will never enter another courtroom. Ever. You said to me, I cannot promise you riches. What I can offer you is a chance to save the world one case at a time. Well, I'm saying the same words back to you right now. How about it, Lucian? Come on, Lucian. The Lord is my shepherd. She was just in speed, wasn't she? And that's Jack Bauer. Sure, I'm sorry about your brother, Freddie. Bobby Lee was his Ten years brother. Ten nigger would be hanging by the end of a rope with his balls in his mouth. You tell me what's wrong with his country. Clan would know what to do. Are we... You know, playing around here for years. Well, there's still some boys around. Tell them boys we need some clan down here in camp. Sounds like a terrible, disgusting idea. To our family's television debut. She's adorable. Daddy's on TV. Justice is and will be colorblind. Impressive. They're an adorable family. F. Lee Bailey's office. You love the son of a bitch. You won't live if the walks. That was Kiefer Sutherland. That was the brother. Our society cannot condone men who take the law into their own hands, no matter what the circumstance. What do you think of Mr. Brigance? Isn't that boy still in law school? Say <laughs> Haley Eisman for me, kid. That's all. Oh. Blech. Condescending. This is reminding me of To Kill a Mockingbird. I remember reading that book in school, staying up one late night to read it, and just sobbing and sobbing in my bed. Are you Carly Haley? Yes, sir. I was wondering where she was going to be. How do you wish to plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. The defense enters a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity, Your Honor. Trial is set for July 22. The state opposes any request for bail. We have not yet asked for bail. In the future, why don't we just wait till he makes the request? Your Honor, we would like to request bail. Denied. <laughs> Your Honor, we will be filing for a change of venue. Your motion is denied. How can you summarily deny this request? Harley Haley cannot receive a fair trial here in Canton. I'll not tolerate grandstanding in my courtroom. Does that mean someone who opposes what you say? Get back to work. Excellent technique, Counselor. Who is she to him? In State versus Johnson and State versus Fisher, failure to properly consider a change of venue has been a reversible decision on appeal to the state Supreme Court. I guess you get to submit that brief after all. How come he didn't know that though? She did it for him. Find out who Brigance is using for a shrink. I want him discredited. You want oh. professional conduct? Just get me enough to shout at him in court. My goodness, I do not like this guy. It's $900, Carly. We said that. My kids got to eat. Mine too. Them folks over the bank, they won't loan me no money. And I lost my job at the mill. Worked 20 years on my five days and they fired me. I can't try a capital murder case for $900. I need to live. Me too, Jay. I need to live too. Because, yeah, he would have to hire a shrink. And he would need money to... Nice 
night. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. It's a mystery woman of the courthouse. But he's married. Ellen Mark. My father's the notorious Selden Mark. Turning to the stars, yeah. What brings you to Mississippi? Law school at Old Miss. It's a family tradition. Mom was a sweet little sorority girl there until Dad married her. <laughs> I married a sweet little sorority girl from Old Miss myself. They have an excellent selection. Yes, they do. I'd really like to help you with the trial. So what makes you think I need help? You have no paralegals, no clerks, no researchers. Now, how do you know all this? My well, woman, I she do research. research. I'm top five percent of my class. I'm published. I am young. And I'll do it all for free. See, he'll be getting me on the way up, and I really. I think, you know, now is a good time to grab me. Is there anything else I should know? My father's filthy rich, so I'll be working for free. What do you think? I can handle the case myself. Are you kidding me? Don't be too proud, Brigger... Brigger... Sin. What are we doing here? This is Stump Sissa, Grand Dragon of Mississippi. Is this what I think it is? The KKK? The clan has always been right there on the surface. I want to kill that. They got the NAACP, ACLU, even the federal government. White folks ain't got a chance, except the Klan. This delusion is frightening. You get five or six of your friends a similar thinking, and we'll initiate the Madison County Clamor. Even make you a leader. Who's that lawyer? Local boy, his name's Brigands. He got family? Yes, sir. Good. Oh, they have to move and hide while the trial. Oh my gosh. That guy really likes his gum. What the hell is he doing here? Oh. Boy, I made eyes at brain. We know each other since we was kids. Oh, this is actually so heartbreaking. Oh, is this family? My fault. No matter what gets said in court, I knew what I was doing. I'm sorry. Some folks think that a black man cannot receive a fair trial in the South. Sure isn't world not for long i'm very proud to invite you to become soldiers in the war to make white people the sole masters of our nation's destiny but i'm saying fellas do they hear what they're saying it's time for to pay oh my gosh it's the gum chore this case has us all worried sick about you all jake oh they're at church this is really good for carly i don't remember he likes the attention a little bit i mean he needs the publicity for money She's okay. They destroyed her innocence, though. I'm Isaiah Street. I saw you march with Dr. King. These people are with the NAACP. How do you do, Reverend? The black community is concerned that Mr. Haley's attorney is not sensitive to the needs of the movement. I don't know, Reverend. We would expect you to take a modest administration fee for your troubles. Wait. Oh, ew. Oh. Right. Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I... I'm scared. He's not in, may I ask who's calling? Uh, Mickey Mouse? Who is this? Get your daughter out of the house right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing, Hanson. Me and Bob got here fast. Is he the one that called? The Ku Klux Klan is burning crosses on our lawn, Jake. Oh, I'm trying to put myself oh, in your position. But you weren't home when someone practically burned our house down? Or that Hannah comes home every day bawling because of other kids calling her a n lover? What exactly are you sorry about, Jake? Remember the other night? He never called Sheriff Waltz. I didn't call him that. Oh my gosh. He told you what he was thinking. You were in a position to prevent every bit of this. So did he take this case out of guilt? She's doing good. How about the other? There was too much damage. She ain't gonna never have kids. Oh. Think about them two boys screaming. Squirming, not going nowhere. That's the only thought that gives me comfort. He took up a collection for us at church. So we need some money for our groceries oh and beers. I don't think it's not. I just get scared. Tell me exactly what real made you say it when he passed around that collection plate. How much do we owe? $2,000. How much do we have? $100. Buck Bridge retainer, there's two grand. That check bounced. Not that you'd notice. We've been getting calls at home. Threats. Now, you know that Bud has survived two strokes. I don't think he would survive a third. Okay. 
I'm worried about his family, the grocery and the bills. I don't feel good about this, though. Mr. Haley's case has far-reaching ramifications. Enter Mr. Reinfeld's Esquire, right? Unfortunate nickname. My lawyers and I handle only capital murder cases, Mr. Haley. How much a defense like that costs? What'd you say, about 100000 We are prepared to accept 7000 The NAACP has raised $5,000. We have raised an additional 2000 from the local churches. How much that cash you offer my wife and kids? Oh, that money is going to pay for our lawyer fees and stuff like that. That ain't what you told the church. How my family might starve if they didn't donate all they could. We thought it would be better spent on illegal defense. Yeah, so well, speaking of that those people fund, get I money and his family's got nothing. Want. It's not that simple. Kind yeah, of yes, it is. Actually, it is. Unless the NAACP wants to go on record as soliciting funds under false pretenses. Let's crack her to oh, Hey, 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 now hold on. If you don't give my wife that cash, so everybody in this town knows you are lying. Crook. We'll expect the check with the Haley family this afternoon, Reverend Agee. And I'm gonna take my chances with Jake here. Oh, he had me scared for a second. And we'll be expecting that check for Jake's legal services around the same time this afternoon. Boom. Go Good Carl day, Lee. Oh, I thought that was gonna go bad. I ain't gonna have a team, Carl Lee. You out there, Jake. I'm in here. We ain't no team. Okay, come on. That was a bonding moment. My legs just went numb. Oh, look at that. Judge, are they allowed to talk? You are. Harry Rex Vile, the most effective morally compromised lawyer in the country. On rock, brilliant law student. Do with me as you will. Looking forward to it. <laughs> um, thought this might interest you. It seems that the insanity plea only makes up 1%. And of the 1% of that number that resulted in acquittal, success rested on the defending psychiatrist. She is brilliant. That would be me. Now, who else would she be? Who she is so. saying that the verdict is going to hinge on whose shrink the jury finds more credible. So, shrink is more expensive? So, are you sure? You don't need any help? I don't need any help. Stop it! Yeah. Nice to meet you, more than compromised. Pleasure on mine, she. Mm. Got to love the Lord for making things like that. Sure, don't at least take a peek at a resume? Not like you couldn't use the help. Yeah, he could use the help. No, I don't. Because I have you. You want me. Put aside my empty, astonishingly lucrative divorcee practice. This is a novel idea I know. No way, never. Let's do it, Harry Rex. Good night, y'all. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I need the share. Someone's going to die tonight. My gosh. I got him! Get in there, Tommy! What's in the case? Was this at his house or at the secretary's house? This thing's kick. Family out of us? Yeah. Now I want you to open it. Um, bomb squad? Or like. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take you and this. Love it. Carla loves his house. Oh my gosh. Who's gonna kill their family? Who's Mickey Mouse? Daddy, are you coming to Grandpa's too? Oh, her little accent. You said you'd withdraw if it got too dangerous. The man is counting on me. I just want you to remember that we're counting on you too. What if something happens to you? Nothing's gonna happen to you, baby. Come here. I'm gonna be Will fine. they beat up since they're oh, fighting? Okay. Watch, don't make your wife promises you can't keep. You ready? That didn't seem like leaving on a good note. Judge News? Thanks for coming. I decided to deny your request for a change of venue. I spoke to Judge Dent, and he led me to Can believe we? that the Supreme Court would uphold my ruling. You certainly have covered your bases, Judge. If a judge lets Carl go, they're going to kill the judge, burn down this house. I feel like a judge is going to be too scared. I recommend Buckley accept a plea of manslaughter. He'd be out in 20. And how's his wife supposed to raise his family alone? Better than being a widow. Didn't love that. Allow me to present Dr. Willard. Is this a psychiatrist? witness for the defense. This is Jake Brigant. No. Are you kidding me? When he's sober, he's terrific. I need a drink. What would your wife say? I drink when I want. When did she leave town? This morning. <laughs> <laughs> Do we trust Lucian and this psychiatrist? That's enough! Kill your balls. Next time people are gonna die. <laughs> He needs Sandra Bullock's help. I'm gonna be very mad at him if he doesn't accept it this time. We are past being, I don't need your help. I think it's time you let me take you out to breakfast. Lunch. 
He would never, though, right? I shouldn't be worried about their little bit of chemistry just because they're both beautiful people. You said you were both the death penalty. Yes, sir. You're not? Actually, I'm very much in favor of it. You told your client Carly Haley this? Carly Haley does not deserve the death penalty. The two men who raped his daughter did. Okay, yeah. Well, how do you decide who dies and who doesn't? I believe in justice. You ever seen a man executed? Not that I recall. All right. You go watch a man be executed. You watch him back till he pisses and shits in his pants until he's gone. Now she's not going to want to. I thought you were one of the good guys. Was he being serious? I get a little worked up. Guess that's not the best way to apply for a job, huh? I think he is one of the good guys, right? I don't want the jury to see those pictures of the dead rapists. Can we keep them out of court? I don't like your politics, Roark, but you do have passion, and that's something Carly Haley sorely needs right now, and maybe so do I. Today, Judge Noose issued summonses for potential jurors in a sealed envelope. Not even Mr. Brigance or myself will know the identities of the potential jurors in this case. They have the confidential envelope? This is crap. Bud. Beautiful day, isn't it? Thank you for coming, sir. Pillsbury Doughboy. I thought you were dead. No, I'm trying. <laughs> Ocean Well Banks permanently disbarred for attacking police who busted a picket line in the Epso oil strike. It is a pleasure. That's why he got disbarred. Now to win this case, we need a sympathetic jury that can use the insanity of the evidence. Ms. Ock, I believe in your right to equal pay for equal work. Since you are a law clerk, genderless in my eyes, I think you should be the one to go buy the beer. No drinking, not today. He means business. New selects this panel at random. Yeah. Look at the draw. But they know. What you need is young father Mothers who want to do what Carly Haley did. You stay away from women, rednecks, and old men. I feel like mothers would be on his side too. State challenges, judge number six, ten, and thirty-two. One, four, eight, and two. Oh my gosh! One guy's got his hood pulled up. There are bugs in here. Uh, opening statements begin tomorrow morning. Doesn't That's seem like a lot of. God bless America. Aren't you? It's disgusting. Please don't fight though. No, 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 no. Someone's gonna get hurt. What's that? Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Ozzy. You know what? I can't get to this. Why don't you just take off your pants? Don't look that easy. You afraid I'm gonna see you in your underwear? I'm not wearing any. It's alright. I haven't worn any in years. Can't say stuff like that. What I need from you, Rohan, is a way to discredit the state's shrink. Oh, I'm so worried about their shrink. Ah. Hmm. Sissy. Do those people go to jail that just had the fight outside? I think you're gonna live. <sighs> Good butt. <clears throat> What do you folks do around here to blow off steam? There you go, darling. Dude. Carly Haley. Our jury found that man loony as a proverbial fruitcake. Don't flirt with each other, okay? I really like you both. Do you think he was crazy when he did it? Yes. No, he wasn't crazy. His eyes looked crazy. He told me he was gonna do it. I came home that night and I was looking at Hannah. I wanted to think about those all the monsters out there who could come steal their innocence and take their life if they want. Yeah, I want those boys dead. They could have caught the death penalty. No, just Carly, I'm trying to get off. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's not even hiding anymore. Carla loves that house. Just want to make sure it's all safe. I'm not scared. Yes, I am. Of what? What's going to happen tomorrow? Oh, no, don't sit on the bed. Oh, he sat on the bed. Remember something? Hmm. You are one of the good guys. We've got the spicy on our lips, but you're one of the good guys. Was it not illegal to drink and drive back then? Carla loved the house and Max. That was the house his daughter knew and all her stuff. Pictures, stuffed animals. See my dog? Max, come here, boy, let's go. Do you think the dog got out? Go till the 9.15 to Gulfport. Go see your wife and daughter, Jake. We got trial in less than three hours. Max, let's go, boy. Your marriage is on the rocks. You're about to have an affair. Your career's in ruins if you're lucky, and if you're not, you're dead. What you put into this case, you even inspired me. I'm uninspirable. Do everyone a favor, though. Drop the case. I don't know what you want. No, I can't. I want him to drop the oh. You can still get a good lawyer. Come on, Max. You Max won't kill him and his family. You're next. Walk away. Max. Hey, hey. Oh, come here. We got the goods, huh? 
Pre-trial strategy at my office in less than two hours, Harry hey, Rick. Wow. That hurts my feelings. Can you tell us how old your son was at the time of his death? 23. Well, in those 23 years, how many other children did your son kidnap? You're out of objection! Sustained. You are out of order. What's your other question? How many other children did he rape? Court will recess for lunch. Why is he antagonizing the judge? Jake got to draw first blood. He knows that's more important. Hey, sweetheart, you want to come play on a winning team? How's that More? an impotence thing, Rufus? You're not being paid for the work you've done with Mr. Brigance, are you? I guess Jake's paying you in other ways. Oh, dare he. Impotence? Girls talk. Prints on the gun match those of Carl Lee Haley. I just don't see how they can win. I know the trial just started, but it seems impossible. Is it true that Pete Willard signed a written confession saying that he and Billy Ray did rape Tanya Haley? Objection, Your Honor, that's inadmissible. Why is that inadmissible? You're not trying the rape of Miss Haley. And if you continue in this performance, I'll hold you in contempt. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Yes. Did you say something, Sheriff? Yes, he did sign a confession. Objection, Your Honor. But died. I know you didn't want any of this to happen. You wagered all our lives on this. Did what you felt you had to do, no matter what the cost. Some folks think that's brave. Not me, Jake. Now, you may win, but I think we've all lost here. My gosh, what is the right answer in this case? I feel so conflicted. So we gotta talk about it? The judge said absolutely not. Oh, these are the jurors. Guilty. Not guilty. Dead. Dead, you <gasps> Oh, it. I want to say this can't be real. This level of ignorance and racism. I'm afraid Dr. Roadheber's in court today. Is he still in room 369? Because I'll just go down there. No, dear. You're wrong again. He's in 128. 128. But he's gone all day. State calls Deputy Dwayne Looney. Uh -huh. What's this testimony going to be like? Describe how you were wounded for the members of the jury. Bullets bounced off the floor, caught me in the knee. Are you still able to serve as a police officer? Able to perform. <laughs> I'm able to perform a number of services. He's the October Sky Dad. No questions, Your Honor. What do you mean? Axon, we think I'll go to jail. Carly, they amputated his leg because you shot him. Axon. Yes. Deputy Looney, do you think he should be punished for shooting you? No, sir. He did what I would have done. Oh my gosh. A boy raped his little girl. Objection. The witness's opinion on this matter is irrelevant. I believe Deputy Looney has earned the right to speak here today. Overruled. Go ahead, Dwayne. I got a little girl. <laughs> Somebody rapes her. I blow him away just like Carly did. Objection, Your Honor. Do you think the jury should convict? Don't answer that question. He's a hero. Turn him loose. Silence that witness. <laughs> gonna hurt his family. I'm just so scared. Would you please state your name and occupation? She My name is Dr. Wilbert Roadheaver. Oh, this is Roadheaver. Of course, this actor is playing him. Mr. Haley was saying he slaughtered those men in cold blood. Uh, Mr. Bradeth, when you and Lois Lane are ready. I resent that. How many times have you testified in trials? This is my 46th trial. How many times have you testified that the defendant was legally insane? A good doctor cannot be asked to recall all of his testimony. These previous trials overruled. Thank you, Your Honor. I can't recall it this time. Okay, get that smug you look off your face. The trial one, Dan Baker, where you found the defendant legally sane? Yes. And Mr. Baker was found insane and institutionalized. Where is he currently, doctor? At Whitfield. She got it. Do you normally admit patients and treat them for 10 years if they are of sound mind and body? Of course not. And it would be fair to say that you find insane people sane for the purposes of trial. Objection, Your Honor. This is argumentative. Is it? Withdraw the question, Your Honor. Genius, Roark. <laughs> How do we not have him in jail? How is he not in jail? When I saw that blood, I was so scared because I thought that was you. Do you want me to stay? We make a great team at work. Yeah. I want you to stay. So you better go. Let's talk about the death penalty again. That'll kill the mood real quick. No. Let me ask you to get out of the car. That's it's the bad guy. You can't blame a for being no more than you can blame a dog for being a dog. Betraying your own. That makes you worse than me. I'm gonna leave you tied up here naked. Them animals, they're gonna come looking for something to eat. Carly, I should have shot you too. Oh my gosh. No. 
It's the Mickey Mouse guy. It's okay, Dale. Tanya's rape caused a relapse. Temporary break with reality. He's not bad when he's sober, huh? He was, therefore, legally insane. Your Honor, I have no further questions. I'm sure Mr. Buckley does. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? Of course not. You're certain? Yeah. As certain of that as you are of the testimony you've just given before this jury? You were not convicted of statutory rape? Objection. Overruled. You got the wrong man. Really? I have some mighty interesting photographs of you. Would you like to look and see if they refresh your memory? Were you? Is that true? Were you not convicted of statutory rape? Yes, yes I was. <laughs> Let him explain. I didn't know about the conviction. Don't do what I did. Don't quit. What are you talking about? Quit. You're a hero. You think the world needed me beating cops' heads on that picket line? I was needed here. I gave them an excuse to kick me out, and now I can never plead a case in there again. But you can. Your job is to find justice, no matter how well she may hide herself from you. Hurry up now. They'll be starting without you. That was a pretty good pep talk. I think he's doing well. Come with me. Off the drinking. I'll never go in another courtroom again. And I can't be you, Lucian. Don't be me. Be better than me. It was like I was outside myself. I kept hearing my baby say, I call for you, Daddy. When the man was hurting me over and over, you didn't ever come. Mr. Buckley. Please don't, Mr. Mr. Buckley. Haley, were you aware that if convicted, they might be freed in only 10 years? I heard people say that. Do you think men who kidnap a child should be free in 10 years? No, sir. Two men who rape a child. Two men who hang a child. Do you think they deserve, they, they, they deserve to die? They deserve to die! Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell! <sighs> oh, no. That was bad. This is what I had to do to get you to call me Ellen. It's so my fault. No. No, it's not his fault. That's what I was going to say earlier. It's not worth it, man. It's not. It's only not worth it if Carly goes to the gas chamber. This case is not over until the summation. One big fat chance to make that jury see this whole case through your eyes. And they're good at it. His wife's mad at him. Ethel's mad at him. And they should be. I get it that part when i put myself in their shoes but something has to be done about these people committing these is. horrific mm -hmm. crimes and harassments mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. has to stand up to that yes, you want to kiss me you want to hug me yeah. unanimous hey. How'd you get here? Drove. In the storm? How about, I love you, I'm happy to see you. I thought you took this case because you wanted to prove to everybody what a big time lawyer you were. But I was wrong. You took this case because if those boys had hurt Hannah, you would have killed them yourself. <sighs> he needed her. How does this turn around? It has to, right? We're gonna lose this case, Carly. I want a cop and plead. Life in prison. I, I can't do no life in prison. The jury has to identify with the defendant. You think just like them. That's why I picked you. When you look at me, you don't see a man. You see a black man. I am your friend. We ain't no friends, Jake. What? Our daughters, they ain't never gonna play together. Now, what are you talking about? America is a war. You my secret weapon. Cause you one of the bad guys. If you was on that jury, what would it take to convince you? That's how you save my ass. Carly. That's how you save us both. Do we think if it was a white man for the same crimes, he would be freed? Carly Haley is not insane. This is a man who admitted to carrying out the sentences that he believed the alleged rapist deserved. He's taken justice out of your hands. We feel terrible about what happened to his daughter. But feeling terrible does not give any of us Crap. a right to kill. All in this courtroom know the truth. Carl Lee Haley is guilty. 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 Okay. State rests, Jan. See, during this trial, I've changed my mind about the judge a little bit. He seemed a little open to hearing both sides. I had a great summation all worked out. And I'm not going to read it. I'm here to apologize. Something has gotten lost. And that something is the truth. Lucius went into a courtroom. Now it is incumbent upon us lawyers not to just talk about the truth, but to actually seek it, find it, to live it. My teacher taught me that. Let's take Dr. Bass, for example. The woman he was accused of raping was 17. She later became his wife, bore his child, and is still married to the man today. Does that make his testimony more or less true? What is it in us that seeks the truth? Is it our minds or is it our hearts? I just got goosebumps. 
We have a duty to seek the truth, not with our eyes and not with our minds, for fear and hate turn commonality into prejudice, but with our hearts. Well, we don't know better. I want to tell you a story. He's doing really good. I'm going to ask you all to close your eyes. This is a story about a little girl walking home from the grocery store. Suddenly a truck races up. Two men jump out and grab her, drag her into a nearby field. And they rip her clothes from her body. Now they climb on, first one, then the other. Oh, her brother should not be the ground. After they've killed her tiny womb, murdered any chance for her to bear children, have life beyond her own, they decide to use her for target practice. Throwing full beer cans at her, tears the flesh all the way to her bones, and they urinate on her. Now comes the hanging. She's pulled into the air and her feet and legs go kicking and they, they don't find the ground. The hanging branch snaps and she falls back to the earth. Drive out to Foggy Creek Bridge, pitch her over the edge. What? It's a miracle she lived. Can you see her? Her raped, beaten, broken body, soaked in their semen. Oh my gosh. Left to die. I want you to picture a little girl. Now imagine she's white. Holy crap. I, uh... The defense restroom. Nathan! I'm so scared someone's still gonna get hurt. That was it. Hey, I'm one of the bad guys, remember? They have to move though, like. We got something to talk about. Congratulations, At least he shook his hand. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Uh, hello. Hannah, this is Miss Haley. This is Hannah. She's so pretty. Brought you some peach coffee. Good, good, good. This is my daughter, Tanya. Hi, nice to meet you, Hannah. Just thought our kids could play together. <laughs> I wanted a moment for Roark at the end. Oh, wow. That was so intense and chilling, but thought provoking. So much of that was so hard to watch. And when I watch movies, I automatically put myself in the characters' positions. And the characters were so well played that when I put myself in their point of view, I could actually feel and empathize with each of them. Well, not all of them. I love courtroom dramas and this reminded me so much of To Kill a Mockingbird which it seems like it had a lot of inspiration from and you know it just makes you want to be better and open your eyes and see things from different lenses like he said that speech at the end holy cow it obviously even convinced that one jury who was a butt and they gave us the scene at the end with the girls playing together. And I feel like that was one time when Carl Lee was very happy to be proven wrong. And that's what, like, that's how change happens, right? Like, he goes to their barbecue. He said, our girls are never going to play together. But guess what? They are. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was amazingly well done. The only thing, like I said, is I kind of wanted to see a little more tied up ending with Sandra Bullock, but it's fine. I'm not even docking a point. I feel like I wasn't even musing as much during this movie because I was just thinking like, how can this possibly end? What would I do in that situation? How do I want this to end? How are they possibly gonna win this case? I was just so in my head. I hope you still enjoyed watching with me. Thank you for voting that film. I feel like it's one that will stick with me and that I'm honestly probably better for having seen. So thank you again. Have a wonderful night. Love you all. Well.